Crop dusting, as we know it, is almost 100 years old here in America. The first known use of aerial application took place in 1921 as a U.S. Army pilot took off from McCook Field in Dayton, Ohio. Tonight, 10-11 Now's Lance Sports has the story of a veteran Cass County ag aviation expert. Lance? When the weather is windy and cloudy and foggy, Joel Bornemeyer doesn't mind just hopping in the cab of his John Deere tractor and working the land from the seat of his tractor. But... When the weather is nice, Joel can usually be found up, up, and away. Joel Bornemeyer was just five years old when he got his first taste of flying. Look at that. That's so natural for you. I remember my first ride. My sister and I sat on my dad's lap. We went up with a neighbor over here to go around. Joel started taking flying lessons as soon as he graduated from Elmwood High School, and he started dusting crops in the spring of 1970. I didn't think I'd be doing it this long myself, but... Joel says a lot has changed about crop dusting since he got started. Fifty years ago, there was only one or two towers in the whole county, you know. And now there's cell towers every two miles. Joel says one of his main jobs is to treat weeds from the sky. The last several years, it's been a lot of fungicide work. This job can get a little hairy at times. Well, you're always trying to keep an eye on a place where you could put it down if you had to. But Joel still loves gliding through the sky like a big red, white, and blue bird. It's still fun, yeah. But how's this for irony? But I don't ride uh, circus rides. I won't get on them. <laughs> they scare me. For obvious reasons, Joel and his 1976 Cessna are very popular above patriotic celebrations. Spraying speed across the field is usually right at 110 miles per hour. Joel says one of his favorite parts of being involved in the ag aviation business over the years has been getting to know a lot of great Nebraskans. And with 50 years of experience behind him, Joel sees no end in sight to his crop dusting career.